Hey everybody. The back half of that fish you can see sticking out right there is my T-bar cichlid. And it's not doing well. I don't know exactly what is wrong with it, but it doesn't look good. I considered the possibility of uh, lateral line disease or hole in the head disease, a lot of time it's called. But it doesn't seem like it's got those same sort of pitting and holes in the side. If you get a good look at it, if it actually ever comes out from behind there, uh, we can see that right around its pectoral fins is almost like fuzzy. It almost looks like it could be like a, a fungus infection or something like that. But to me, it almost looks like it's rotting skin or something. And the fin on the other side actually has a little bit of that white uh, rotted look on the fin too so I'm not really sure what is going on with this it was suggested by someone that the fish could be stressed out by the addition of my new fish right here these uh, diamond tetras they are a little boisterous but they don't bother anybody else in the tank and this is a t-bar cichlid I mean they're not timid fish uh, this fish has been known to intimidate other fish in the tank and I watched the behavior Sorry about all the glare on everything in here. Uh, I watched the behavior for About 15 minutes while I was standing in the doorway and I wasn't right up on the tank disturbing anybody and The t-bar was sort of drifting around the tank and swimming around and kind of doing its thing but it just was ignoring the diamond tetras it just paid them no attention they paid the the t-bar no attention so it only seems to really be reclusive and sort of shying away when i'm up close to the tank like it is now now i also just got done doing a water change and so the fish are all a little bit skittish you can see my angel fish was busy hiding down there in the corner and it's now coming out uh i guess all the excitement's over from the water change and everything so I don't really know what else to do. I don't know what I'm looking at. I, again, now that I'm getting a much better look at it, I really don't think that is a uh, hole in the head and lateral line disease. Uh, that looks more like fin rot or a fungus infection. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on. I checked the nitrates, uh, despite the fact that the nitrates themselves uh, would not cause that. But checking the nitrates is a good way of just kind of keeping a proxy on all the other stuff that's in the tank because as your nitrates level uh, increases so do all the other dissolved solids and bacteria and everything just keeps going up and up and so if you've got really high nitrates probably indicates it's been a while since you've done a water change and you know it's a good time to do one so when I checked the nitrates they were dark orange but I wouldn't call them red yet so you know, it hasn't been that long since I've done a water change. It's only been about a week. This tank has got a fairly large pleco in it. And, of course, with the canister filter, I haven't changed that in a while. So even if I change the water out, uh, that canister filter in there is just generating waste. You know, as all that mulm and stuff that's inside the canister is, continues to break down. You know, that does still produce waste products and still does fill your tank up, um, you know, with nitrates and other whatever you know is developing you know bacterial loads or whatever that might be developing and all that waste that's in your canister filter so i did about a 25 percent water change today i'm going to let the tank rest i may do another water change tonight or i may just wait until tomorrow and do another water change but i'm going to do another maybe 25 30 percent and in the next water change i'm actually going to change the filter out and get all new filter material and everything in there too so i'm not one to just randomly start medicating a tank with various medications just in hopes that something will clear something up i don't like to do that i like to find out what i'm dealing with and then treat that condition rather than just you know blasting the tank with random medications uh, not really even knowing what I'm treating or whether it's going to treat it or not. So I might look around a little bit. I might look at something like API's General Cure. Um, you know, I don't think that would harm the tank by putting it in there. So, you know, if it helps, that's great. But I really don't think it would hurt either. So I might do something like a simple API General Cure. Um, but I'm not going to do anything too extravagant. I'm not going to order any meds online or anything. If I've got some in the other room that I think might be helpful. See, now we're getting a look at its other side. And you see how its pectoral fin also looks bad? But it doesn't have clamped fins. 
it's not just sitting in the corner. Again, when I'm not right in front of the tank, booming my voice at it like this, you know, just how I, when I started speaking again and moved, it went to the back and hit again. It's only been doing that when I come in the room. When I was watching it from the other room, it was swimming around the tank fairly normally. It looks a little sluggish, a little listless, um, you know, as can be expected when it looks in the condition it does. But it just looks terrible. It's color. I mean, that should be like vibrant purple and yellow. It's a beautiful fish when it looks right. But it looks really bad. I'm afraid it's probably not going to be around much longer. But I will continue with the water changes, and I will uh, look into the you know API general cure because I do think I have some of that in the other room. But I'd love to get you know anyone else's opinion or uh, advice or what they think that might look like to them or reasons why it might be happening. Uh, again, the tank's not you know, filthy, dirty, it's not neglected or anything like that. So why I'm having these issues, I don't know. Now this fish has on occasion in the past had one or two little lesions on the side of its head that did look like hole in the head disease. And a few water changes later, it simply went away. So I don't know whether the water changes were having an impact on that or the fish's own immune system took care of it uh, or what happened. But a couple times in the past, I have had issues with that. So, you know, this is something on a whole different uh, level, though. This is altogether new. I've never seen it looking like this before. Again, it looks like it's already dead and starting to rot while it's swimming around the tank. And that's not too good looking. So, anyway... There you go, and again, I would, you know, be, you know, more than happy to listen to what you have to say or your opinion, advice, whatever. Make a comment down below, and I will certainly consider it. So thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. You'll be able to follow along with the saga of this one. There's always something going on here in my fish room. So don't forget, this is my 55-gallon T-bar tank, and I'll see you real soon in the next one.